Well, this just might be my favorite place ever because there's actually a sign in the front, and we'll show you that in just a little bit, that says, um, sometimes it's okay to eat your feelings. We're at an ice cream store. We're at Willard's, and we are here with Matt, owner. Uh, Matt, why Willard's? Why an ice cream store? Uh, I grew up loving ice cream. My parents always told me, like, they controlled how much ice cream I could eat. So it was such, like, <laughs> a huge part of my childhood, like, after baseball games, going to grab a cone. Yeah. Um, and so probably about eight years ago, I just started making ice cream for fun at home, making all sorts of weird flavors, mm -hmm. trying some friends. And I had a friend that had a business, and they offered to sell it at their business wholesale at first. And so yeah. I, like, experimented with that, experimented with different places in the city. Yeah. And then four and a half years ago, we decided to open a shop. So we got this property, we planted our roots, we renovated it, and we opened our cute little ice cream shop mm -hmm. uh, to just allow people to have all sorts of delicious flavors. What I love about your shop, and I think is super unique, is that it's a nut-free facility. Yeah, we're, as far as I know, one of the only ones in all of Ontario that's nut-free. Uh, for me, uh, it's really important to try to allow anyone of all ages to be able to have mm. a delicious treat. And so people who are nut free usually can't. No. And so like when I, it had never clicked until right before I was opening, I was talking to a friend with a nut allergy mm. and he was like, yeah, me and my daughter can't go out for ice cream. And it just broke my heart. Yeah. I was like, how do you not go out for ice cream? <laughs> it's such a family so did, thing. Yeah, we did like four or five nut, nut flavors at the time. I'm like, we can yeah. get rid of four or five flavors to make it safe. Oh yeah, because you know what? A lot of people don't even really like ice yeah. cream with nuts in it anyway. A lot of people do. I do have requests, but it's still it's just, I'm You're willing like, to make that sacrifice. It's the same reason why half of our stock is always dairy-free vegan flavors, because mm -hmm. we know there's people who have dietary restrictions or yeah. are vegan, and they want delicious options. Well, it's funny, because when I was checking out your Instagram uh, and your Google, I was seeing a lot of people posting pictures of the vegan options. and so many likes and so many comments being like that's amazing because yeah. you can't get that everywhere yeah and so yeah or, or a lot of places it's like oh you're dairy free here's your option i There's hope one. you like this yeah. flavor or i hope you like these two flavors where yeah. we're like no like we will have a variety and yeah. so like we'll always have some gluten free we always have uh some vegan dairy free and so there's always something mm -hmm. for everyone is what we try our best to do and some really unique flavors and i will be trying some of those very unique flavors coming up lots more to come on morning live back at willard's ice cream with matt willard and we are about to try some of the very unique flavors and i think that's very interesting that you have these unique flavors because a lot of ice cream stores just do the basics and then a couple of one-offs here and there, but you actually have one that tastes like Parmesan cheese? Yeah. That's so, true? Yep. Yeah, so we make all of our ice cream in-house from scratch, small batch. Okay. Uh, we make maximum like three gallons of a flavor at a time, so okay. they're constantly rotating or changing. So it's amazing. You come in one day, especially during the summer, you come in the mo in early afternoon one day, it'll be different than the evening during the summer, because it just, cool. once we get through a batch, it's gone. Yeah. Um, so it allows us to experiment. So yeah. I love trying new things and getting inspired from everywhere. So uh, currently we have a Parmesan cheese ice cream that I decided to experiment with. We've done garlic, we've wow. done dill pickle, I would love we've the done dill pickle. pizza. That tasted like a frozen pizza pop, so not necessarily what people tend to want to eat, including <laughs> no myself. More pizza. So that one's not being done again. Um, but yeah, so we like experimenting. Some more on the edge, some more uh, safe Friendly. and different, like our Twizzler, our nibs. I like it. Uh, so do you want to try Parmesan cheese yeah, ice cream? Yeah, sure. Let's give it a shot. I do like Parmesan cheese like on my spaghetti, so I don't see there's anything wrong with it being in an ice cream. It smells like ice cream. But totally tastes like Parmesan cheese. Mmm! But not like overwhelming. No, no. Like I, mm. I do want it. Like I want it to taste like it's supposed to taste, but I want it to be good. I it's want still ice cream. I still want people to enjoy their ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, we've also been experimenting with smoking ice cream, similar to like smoked cocktails are a thing. Okay. So we've done a smoked vanilla, a smoked peach, a smoked chocolate. Like Ow. so, like we just infuse it with a little bit of smoke to get this like nice like smoky taste to I it. I love that. Um, another one of our most popular ones. Okay. Uh, that is 
more unique to our shop is we do a Dunkaroo inspired ice cream. So, so the snacks from the 90s that have yeah. come back, but it's very nostalgic to me and yeah. to, to a lot of people. Totally. And so it's a, like a cream cheese birthday cake type ice cream okay. with, with cookies mm. and sprinkles. Um, and it's one of our most popular flavors. Yeah, you'd say this is like your top seller? It's, yeah, it's, it's up there. That and cookie dough, which is just a classic, um, which we also have very often. Mmm, that's so good. Mm, yeah, so, mm, mm. Yeah, so if, if, oh, yeah. if people are ever interested in what we're serving, we post what flavors we're scooping every day on our Instagram stories and our Facebook stories because we know that the it's, rotating uh, flavors changing. is changing. So people want to know. So I have customers that like every day, as soon as like we open, they check the Instagram stories. They're like, are we going for ice cream today? <laughs> yep. Like, Dunkaroos back they, in, they'll, kids, they'll let's go. They'll hunt for certain flavors, and the second they see their favorite flavor, they book it over here. Oh my gosh, that's so from. fun for you, too, because you can really see like yeah. how organic the community can really yeah. come together yeah, and like, I mean, my, rally. My wife was working with me the other day, and she was, cause she has her own job, and mm -hmm. so sometimes she helps out, and she was just like, I was just like, oh, hi, it's yeah. and I'm like, we have your favorite flavor today. Like oh, I just I knew their that. flavors right off the bat. I'm like, oh, here's a scoop of Oreo yeah. for you. Here's key lime for it's you. Like your ice cream here's version cookie of cheers. dough. Yeah. Like, it's just <laughs> you know a, everybody's yeah. name. I love just being the neighborhood ice cream shop and like getting to know the people because it's more than just to me. This is more than a place to get ice cream. It's a yeah. place to build community. To totally. me, food has always been a way to connect in community, and I that's love that. uh, especially in coming through COVID where we got disconnected, having yep. a spot where we can all reconnect is very important to me. We need to talk about this ice cream as well. Um, the black ice cream. This is the surprise. It has not been guessed yet. I'm going to try it, but I'm going to keep my guess a secret. Right? I'm not going to tell yeah, me. Yeah, please. <laughs> Top secret. <laughs> Top secret. Focusing in on the black ice cream. I know it looks a little daunting, but it's actually a surprise flavor. It's just dyed edible black. And if you guess the flavor right, you get free ice cream, right, yeah. Matt? Just the first person, because if it was too easy, I would go broke just from everyone right. guessing it. <laughs> that um, makes sense. But yeah, so what we do is we take one of our flavors, mm -hmm. not not anything too weird, because kids choose their ice cream based on color a lot of times, so yeah. kids love the kids, black ice cream. Yeah, of course. So I do make it something I think kids will love. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we dye it black, and we it's the only ice cream you can't sample ahead of time if you come and come to the oh. shop. You have to commit to it. And then if you try it, if you buy it, you guess, and you see if you can figure out what it is. Uh, it's surprisingly hard. Like, well, yeah. you, you take away all context, all colors. It's hard to figure out what it is. Even myself, I know every single ingredient inside this shop, and mm -hmm. when I have an employee make it, mm -hmm. I get it wrong a lot of the time. Wow. Because it's just like, your mind doesn't, it tries to put things in categories well, and of course. can't quite figure it out. Because fruit is gonna be like an orange or a red or yeah. a purple. Yeah, like, And a cookies and cream is usually gonna be a white with a base or something, you know yeah, what I mean? I had but, a mango and I thought it was strawberry because my brain was like, oh. It's a fruit. Fruit plus dairy, mm -hmm. this must be strawberry ice cream. All right, and it's I'm been ready. all over the place. Like we had a bubble gum, everyone could guess that. We yeah. tried it as a carrot cake. No one got it. Interesting. And then we did a sour watermelon candy, and like it got about 50-50. Yeah, kids, they love their sour so you think watermelon. You, can, you think you can do it? I don't know. I'll try. Black ice cream. So cool. Uh, for those that are worried, uh, I know it's some edible. of you will be upset. It is never black licorice, because I wouldn't make people eat black licorice without knowing that's what I they're I love doing. black licorice. Some people do, but it's a very divisive flavor. I've had it before. I know the taste. But I can't quite put my finger on it. Shocking, I know. Okay, I've got a guess. I'm gonna tell you after. The surprise is still out there. You have to come and try this ice cream. And if you guess it right, you get yourself a free ice cream cone. Lots more coming up on Morning Live. The slogan on the wall is, it's that touch of joy that can bring a smile or a little bit of comfort because sometimes it is okay to eat your feelings. I love this. Having a rough day at work, grab a scoop of Willard's. Celebrating a birthday, grab a scoop of Willard's or get yourself an ice cream cake, which is something else that they do here. These are gorgeous, Matt. This Thank looks you. so good. Yeah, so we, uh, we make ice cream cakes with any of our delicious and sometimes weird flavors. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 
all our cakes are custom order. Yeah. Uh, if we ever can get some freezer space, we may keep some in stock, but that's more down the road. So right now it's just people message me, they talk to me, they tell me what flavors they like or what they're inspiring. Some people have specific ideas, other mm -hmm. people just let me run with it. Yeah. And we've done all sorts. Like we've done like these two that are looking like more traditional ice cream cakes. Yep. We've done ones with a cookie on top and the bottom, so it looks like a giant ice cream sandwich. Oh yes. Uh, we've done like a Star Wars themed one. We've like we, we just we're willing because everything's made to order. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very flexible for us to yeah. to like work with different flavors, uh, work with different styles of decoration. We're not like the most like is it cake type right. cake decorators, but yeah. we do our best and we have fun with it. Our goal is to make a delicious, yeah, like fun what's, cake. What's going on in here? So this one is actually uh, I was making my Dunkaroo ice cream. Oh, uh, I see. And I accidentally used a carrot cake mix instead of a birthday cake mix and. <laughs> Uh, it was an oopsie, but it tasted delicious, I bet. and it's now one of one of my regulars. It's their favorite flavor, so their friends ordered it for their birthday. What's it tomorrow. called? Uh, What's the name of it? Typically, Car I wouldn't. Car so this one, yeah, like, I don't even know. It was it was uh, it was just called Dunkaroo Oops. When oh, I, I love when, it. When I did it, um, yeah. So it's like a carrot cake Dunkaroo mashup, and then this one is a mint Oreo. Um, the other great thing is because of our. Uh, our nut-free status and a lot of our willingness to work with dietary restrictions. This yep. cake, in particular, like they didn't want egg, they wanted to make sure there was no eggs right. and no nuts. Right. A lot of cakes for birthdays, you they, can't. Yeah. You can't. Can so this mess. allowed them to get a delicious cake for their birthday. Um, yeah, and so it's really fun for me. Like I, a lot of times people will go simpler with Oreos, but like mm -hmm. when someone gives me a challenge and they'll be like, oh, I, well, I, I want some Oreo. Like I had a customer last week. Uh, tell me that their partner's favorite chocolate bar was a Kit Kat. Oh, a Kit Kat ice cream? So I was like, oh, yes. but, but they're dairy free. They were vegan. Like they couldn't have lack, like Right, milk. they couldn't have the milk. So chocolate. I was like, oh, I, I took it as a challenge. And so uh -huh. I made like a shortbread base. Then I took a uh, salted caramel ice cream and put a pile mm. of it in the middle. But then I covered it with chocolate ice cream with bits of cookies throughout. Oh it. my gosh. And then covered it with cookies and chocolate. So, so it, like it had the feeling of a Kit Kat mm -hmm. without any Kit Kats yep. or uh, Twix in it. Yeah, you had me so, a Kit Kat. So it's just this, this fun little way of like, yeah. hey, if you have an idea for an ice cream cake, message us and if it's something I think I can pull off, we'll do I will. It. If I, I think that. I can't, I'm always awesome. Like, uh, like <laughs> people who ask for writing on cakes, I'm like, no, I can do it, but it's not going to look as good <laughs> as this. And right. this is just tastier than writing I love as well. This. These are, they both look so exceptional. And Matt, thank you so much for having oh, us. No problem. Your passion and your enthusiasm for ice cream is totally contagious. Everybody needs to come down here to Willard's. What's your social media handles? Uh, just Willard's Ice Cream on Instagram and on Facebook. And uh, on Twitter, Mm, feelings, M M M feelings. I love it. It's so perfect. Okay, write that down. Come down here this weekend. The weather's going to be great. Come and have some ice cream. <laughs>